there he is. Man of the hour. I hear you got the leaf figure growing. Yeah. The, the, the big vacuum. The big vacuum. Yeah. yeah. That it's it's a nice machine, but you can't turn corners with it. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah. It it the hose is not b long enough so that when you turn a corner, it doesn't come detached, and you have to get out and straighten it all out and start again. But the concept, is if you got the right place, it's perfect. Yeah. There's not too many sharp corners. And it also was very good when you just left it where it was and shoveled stuff into it. That, yeah, that's what I'm thinking. Pile it all up first and then suck them up. And then it would, then it then it does get full. But that you know, it's yeah. it does a good job. But I think that I think we're just going to let the leaves rot along the fence line this year. <laughs> the hell with it. <laughs> well, the fence line it's is mulch. Not a, not a problem. No, it's mulch. Gets it off. The camera's pointing at us right now. Is it pointing at us? No. Not yet. Oh, get your pants on then. <laughs> the, fa the microphone is on. Oh, oh no, yeah, thanks. You're welcome. <laughs> I thought you'd like that. That's okay. I'm, re I'm readjusting here. So. Oh, you're right. still readjusting. I'm ready. You're ready. Okay, let me try and get the camera out of the door. I've been hearing sound. I heard it. And it, well, it wasn't me. I, I mean, the microphone was off. Oh. <laughs> so I hope it That's interesting. Cool. There's a whole bunch of errors here, but they seem to kind of go away on their own, right? Sound. Was that before or after you said it made the remark about my pants? I don't know. I hope it was after. Yeah. <laughs> and the camera's aimed right at the floor. <laughs> camera's at the floor? Yep. I need to bring it up a couple of notches. The camera is You've got, I don't even have a picture. How do you know where the camera is? Right there. Probably just need to refresh. How did that happen? Look at me. I bet if you just refresh, it's probably okay. Toward me, right? 
Preset deal, it doesn't work. So when everybody tells me, I, why don't you just push the preset that you have? That's not, no, <laughs> doesn't work that way. I would even, and there you have it. <laughs> Promise you, sorry. Whoops, look out, you got in trouble, fella. Now you've covered up your writing material. Ready. Are we ready? Ready. What are we ready for? You can see the back scratcher. Oh, I have a beautiful back scratcher. <coughs> I have the world's greatest back scratcher. This was written, given to us, really, Ooh. by a guy. Yes, I tell you. Ooh. Yes, it really is. Oh. You could go inside with it too. It's not too bad. Oh. Have you got? Are you on camera? I don't know. I'll do it this way. There we go. How's that? Oh. Isn't that a nice back scratcher? That is. That's very one nice. of the first service dogs we put out. The guy makes this stuff. Oh, is that right? Yes, up in Maine. Do you have his address? No, but yes, we must somewhere. Well, let's, let's find it because I need to order one of these. <laughs> 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 I have a back scratcher in every room of our house, and I, I used, I even have one at my office in school, and I used to have one in my car, but I don't have that one anymore. But I. But I, this is nice, isn't that nice? That is nice. Doesn't yeah. it feel? It's good, you know. Yeah. He makes all sorts of wood things like this. That is really, it's beautiful. It's beautiful. I find his address. <laughs> it's you know who it is. It's the guy that's around here with our pictures, raising the flag with the dog at his feet. Oh yeah, yeah. That's the guy. Oh, that's helpful. <laughs> uh huh. Okay. Do I? You want to hear my problems before we get started here? You want to hear about them afterwards? Maybe we'll wait a minute. Wait a minute. She's barking. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, it was me. I don't have a spoon. Oh, you need a spoon. Oh. <laughs> Actually, two spoons. Two spoons. <coughs> two spoons, anything. Yeah, I like to I like to dive into the dog food a little bit, you know. I've, I've been known to have a biscuit now and then. Is what? Either Bud's, either Bud's voice changed or Tracy just came in. <laughs> Hold on. Bud's voice changed. Did you hear that? That's what I said. I didn't. Was there a dinner for Bentley? Is that a good one? Huh? That's a good a one. You need one? Bentley? Um, no, because he wasn't I'll put, here. I'll put it in here so I have an emergency one. <laughs> Do you need to make one? I, um, I can if you want. I'll make one. All right, thanks. Perry ate well, though. Uh-oh. <laughs> <laughs> Everybody <Sorry>. else? <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Uh -oh. Perry, be good tonight. Perry, how are you? <laughs> <laughs> are we? Where's my dog? All Bailey. Right. All right, Wilkie. Don't, don't you feed her. I'm not feeding her. Not you. until the camera, I mean, until the dog gets the... I'm not. I'm just getting ready. Until Bailey does her job. Bailey to gets to call the shot. Come right, on, Bailey. The, uh, Oh, there we go. Jeez. She has to get a drink of water now. Did you want Kleenex? There's on the floor. You need a bath towel. <laughs> no, I need Bailey. We got too many dogs. Bailey, get the basket. Bailey's got to get the basket. Get the basket. What happened to the basket? Well, here's the basket. It's over here. Bailey. 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 We forgot the basket. That's a problem you have there, Opie. Here we go, Bailey's good girl. Whoa, look out, she's swinging it. Good girl, yes, a good girl. What a good girl. You get out of here. Okay, no. now you can have some. Come on, right, Bailey. Here we go. Bailey, come on here. Bailey, come on here. Bailey, come on here. Bailey, come on here. Good girl. All right, come here. Here we go. Good, good boy, Ben. Come Better on, get Bailey. Okay, go eat your food. Bailey, come on. Go eat your food. For dinner, Bailey. Go eat your food. This guy doesn't have understand it. I got a Perry problem here. Oh, wait a minute, I'll come get here. some more in here. Good boy. Leave the spoon, buddy. Leave the spoon. All right, good boy. Get out of here. This is not yours. No, this is Bailey's. Bailey's. No, you don't take her spoon. Get out of here. It's 
Daily. <laughs> did, did, what, we forget to feed him? Is that the problem? Yep. You never believe half this stuff if, unless you saw it. <laughs> well, <laughs> that's what my problem is going to be after we get through with mail call. <laughs> What's that? Okay, you can't plan for cop around here. <laughs> no. no. I think you already had some. <laughs> Bailey, no, that's not yours. All right, we're all done, Bailey. I'm sorry. Here you go. Girl. Girl. Oh, thank you. No, no, leave the can. You're going to cut your tongue. Don't do that. Closing deal. Nice toilet paper stuck to your foot, Steve. What is it? Oh, there's toilet paper stuck oh. to your foot. I was cleaning up the drool from the arm of my chair. I can't control myself when there's food around. I got Steve Martin movie, Dead Men Don't Wear a Plaid. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yep, 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 exactly. <laughs> What's that? Barry filling up with water before the ride. Oh, nice. Between that and all the food he ate. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Sorry. It would have been your car. <laughs> it's all nice and clean. Okay. <laughs> Here we have somebody. Barry. Barry, you'd be a good boy tonight. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Make, make sure you knock on the door before you, if you need to go out. Before you explode. <laughs> and that note. Okay, and sorry. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> to whom? Okay, this person wants an apple. <laughs> this person is an inquiry. So she goes in the far drawer. Okay. 10 4. And I don't know what you do about that. I'll keep it with it. Keep it together. For now. It'll be a short while I try and study the how to open the envelope. Here we go. There we go. I did it. That's right, person. We'll that later. Huh? We'll deal with that later. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever. Oh, I can hardly wait to tell you all, all my troubles. <laughs> Danvers Animal Hospital. This has got to be rabies shots. Rabies pieces of paper. I don't even want to open them. We'll put them in the other drawer over there. <laughs> Which one? Far drawer? Far drawer, yeah. Okay. To be processed, yeah. And we have to put the piece CBT. of paper. It's the piece of paper that's the critical part of the whole deal. Hmm. Hey, it's turkey day. Whoa, yes, it's a nice turkey day. Chicken bricks. We need the chicken brick department. That's a nice looking shepherd on her sticker. This what? Is her dog. What? This sticker has a nice oh. looking shepherd on I it. I said, that's not a shepherd. That's Soupy. That's a shepherd. That's a shepherd. Oh, yeah. That's a beagle. <laughs> is that a beagle? That's what Soupy is. He's a beagle. Is he? Okay. Okay, so I have to separate. So what you're going to have to do is get the chicken brick thing down. Okay. Uh, it's the top. Is that right there? Yeah, got it. Isn't it? Got it. So you can stand up and sit down so much easier than I can. <laughs> that won't last. Maybe long. if I did it more, that I wouldn't have so much problem. But at any rate, um, so this it's has got to go. And I'll put this in the. I don't have it. You need the uh, jug. <laughs> Anything else? <laughs> <coughs> How many years have we been doing this and we can't get it straight yeah, yet? Yeah, I know. <coughs> we're working. <coughs> we'll have to go back and study some more Johnny. Oh, see, Johnny. I can't put that in there. That was the problem. Well, you know, I knew I had a problem with it. It was a test to see if you would put it in the right place. We'll have to watch some more Johnny Carson and Ed McMahon, you know. There you go. Well, I can do it this way, though, because this guy, this person gets 10 chicken bricks. 10 bricks. 
So, and then I put this one in here, and then this one goes over here, and we're off and running. Uh. <laughs> Plop happens. Oh, is that what that is? <laughs> Please use check to buy three more chicken bricks. <laughs> Just pick it up and move on. You're absolutely right. Okay. <laughs> I'll put that in here. And you put that, uh, you got another three right there. Three chicken bricks. And she's got the address there, is that correct? Uh, most of it. Is the envelope there? Envelope. Got it. She's Not very the, busy today. Not the whole address is there. Very busy. Let's keep these together. Silver Hand Spring Mellow. Oh, I was right near here recently. Where? Silver Spring Mellowin. Oh, yeah. Hi, yeah. Did you read today's Daily Doggy? I shouldn't ask people that question. I, no, actually, I didn't. I haven't, you did not I haven't checked my well, email Well, I made some day. comment about... I was so busy about today. People should be more careful about the way they breed people. <coughs> I'm sure that went over well. <laughs> it's really funny, the comments I got. Well, I'll, have to re I'll read it in a few minutes. Well, people got all concerned about who's go who we're dog what dog we're going to breed to who, and nobody pays that much attention to the, the breeding of people. Well. So I had a little bit to say about that. They're not as much fun to watch online. Well, that, actually, that's not uh, true. I don't <laughs> there are some good ones. Careful here. <laughs> People might pay attention to that if it weren't laws against it. Yeah. <laughs> that's behave, you two. <laughs> that's not what I was referring to, but I'm sure I was just. Uh, they, they just, they have all these. <coughs> I never understood it, but one of my sons, and well, actually, all my sons, they, they and I know a lot of kids their age, or not kids anymore, but people their age, love to watch these funny videos online. And and by funny, I mean it's like people having accidents and stuff. And I'm always like, oh, my God, that poor person. And they're like, oh, that's so funny, you know. And I mean, some of them were set up. Yeah. So, you know, they, but, well, but it's yeah, just. But you always see to the point where it happens. You don't see the after, after effects. Right, like exactly. The, the ambulance coming along. <laughs> exactly. You know. Like and then uh, applying uh, for a dog two uh, years uh, later. Yeah, the person when they reach the, the ER, <coughs> what actually happens to them. <coughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. Some of them were really good, though. There were some really cute ones, too. There was, there was just one, there was a little kid. People do some pretty strange <laughs> things, though. This one went viral for a while. It was this yeah. little kid and his, and his little brother. And the little brother, I don't know if he bit him or hit him or something. And, and the other kid's going... Charlie, that hurt, Charlie, that hurt. You know, and, and for some reason, that went like viral, you know, like millions of people love that one. Who knows? Who knows? This is entertainment in the new age. Right. I'll take Jonathan Winters any day. Yep. But Johnny Carson, the, the th <coughs> that copper clapper caper <laughs> is really... That's a classic. It, it, well, it, it, I know it's a classic, but it also demonstrates the talent that those two men had. Exactly. To, for them to keep it going straight. I know it. I mean, that, you know, there are an awful lot of people who couldn't do that nowadays. <laughs> and they do these odd things that they think is funny, but they, they're, not, they're not accomplished. They don't have enough talent in any particular department. I was noticing on D, I, some, I, when I talked about Dita, uh, somebody went out and, and, and Googled her. I hadn't Googled Dita in a long time. Who is this? Dita Hagen, the one that was here yesterday. Oh, oh okay, okay. Uh, she's a member of SAG, a Screen Actors Guild. So, mm -hmm. and, she, and she's been in some of the big movies and things around. Uh, but when you read what she's accomplished, she says she can ride horses and drive horses, and this, that, and the other thing, and blah, 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 blah. And I think the last thing in her things is she can whistle with her fingers between her teeth and make a hell of a noise. Really? And I bet she's gotten a job just because of that. Probably. I have heard her whistle, and she has a loud whistle. She can hear it across the lake. You can hear her. Sorry, sorry, I missed her yesterday. Sorry. She's funny. You, you've yep. seen her before. You, you know Dina. What was she, she, know. Know. Yeah, what yeah. Was she here for? She was just going through. Oh. 
Okay. We went out to lunch, and it got to be so late that she stayed for <laughs> <laughs> she stayed for mail call. That's great. So, at any rate, but my problem of the day is I had a call from ADI people, and th <laughs> they're trying to go through my accreditation pack that I sent away last year. Should I get June? my violin now? Or yeah, you can get it because it's bad. <laughs> okay. You know, and she's a very nice woman, and she's absolutely lovely, and she, she, she put together a really good, great service dog outfit. She's a business person. She doesn't really know too much about dogs, but <laughs> great business person. She's got great big, long, red fingernails. At any rate, uh, she loves what we're doing. The dogs are great. Everybody's fine. The people are good. All but it's the business plan. They cannot approve me until I have a better business plan. Mm -hmm. Well, my argument there is I had a business plan five years ago because I had to. Because to get this accreditation, you've got to come up with a five-year plan. <coughs> so Mike put one together. She, uh, Ann's husband, Mike? Mm -hmm. Ann Peterson? Yeah. And it was five years. That was the 7.2 do dogs per whatever, you know, at the point twos and stuff. At any rate, if I had stuck to that business plan, we would be nowhere near where we are today. Because oh. if you don't have the, the laxity, <coughs> is that the word? The, the ability to move and shuffle and, and go with whatever is creative. Elasticity. Elasticity, is that word? El elasticity. Elasticity. Fluidi fluidity. Fluidity. Go ahead. Um. You're on it. You're on a roll. <laughs> I'm on a roll. <laughs> well, I, I, it's yeah. It, it, a business plan is supposed to be a guideline. It's not a hard, fast. Well, it, it's <laughs> at, totally useless around here. I mean, we can't tell five minutes well, without what we're going to need to do. I know. You know. But she got into it, and, and unfortunately, that letter that Janine got her into it, she wrote this letter about what, uh, what we should do. And the Sheila, this is a different Sheila, Sheila O'Brien. Sheila absolutely loved what Janine wrote. So now I gotta go back to Janine and say, Janine, <laughs> would you fill up a whole <coughs> loose leaf notebook full of that well, Janine, crap? That's her, that's her area, she's good at it. So she's she good at it. Yeah. Very well, good. would you please fill up a thing so that we can get on with life here? And I mean, our dogs are good, and everything's going fine, and we have this fundraising with these. <coughs> and I'll tell you something. <coughs> Sheila had never heard of the cameras. She had really? no idea what we were doing. Huh. And she's the one that's telling me all these things I have to do. She has absolutely no idea what's going on. <laughs> it's like today I... She didn't know what the chicken bricks were. Really? Yeah. I guess she hasn't bought one then, hasn't she? No, yeah. she has <laughs> not. Let's get on the stick there, lady. Get on the stick, lady. <coughs> um, there was an interview one this afternoon. I didn't get to see it, but with Charlie Annenberg, I believe. Oh, really? Yeah. I think it was on this afternoon. What do you have to and say? Uh, I don't know. I didn't see it. <laughs> oh, I thought you took notes or somebody gave you notes. I was actually driving here at that time. Cheat uh, shit. Or jump and check. Whatever. So matter. hopefully it'll, it'll be. Uh, but anyway. Um, I mean, Charlie has <coughs> set up certain things that he wants out of explore.org. Right. And I mean, I, I had talked up this whole thing with people at school, and I tried to get some people to, you know, watch that interview this afternoon so they kind of get a better feel for Explore. And, and, um, and they hadn't even heard of him or hadn't realized huh. that it was as big as it is, yeah. you know. And well, hopefully we've stuff. made it a hell of a lot bigger for it. Oh, we certainly have. You know, <laughs> I, I think that because when Sorry, I was what out did there. you just say? Huh? What did you just say? Twice now. <coughs> <coughs> I'll cover you because I owe a few. <coughs> <coughs> but for this Sheila person, when I told her about the, all these camera people, she said, oh, well, she said, we'll get them to donate money. And that's when I said, mm, they're supporting us now. <laughs> they're our lifeblood. Exactly. She had never heard of it, the whole thing. That's interesting. But to try, and, to, f to try and fundraise and raise money and stay within... With, without getting too commercial about it, which is what Charlie, I think, f f likes. I, th I think that. I don't. I don't. I don't think we're. I don't think we should sell our, our numbers. You know, we have a lot of numbers. <coughs> a lot of people. What do you mean we shouldn't sell them? How do you mean? Well, uh, put up posters all over and say, you know, eat at Joe Schmo's. Oh, oh. You oh, know, oh, because there's going to be a fourteen thousand people watch us today. You know, I, I just don't think we can go for that. Sorry. 
I personally don't want to do it either. So, I mean, if I blame it on Charlie, that'd be fine. <laughs> you know, I, I, we really pushed our luck to, uh, my luck or whatever, to what put the... Ever return, no ever return. <laughs> the uh, the clear span sign. <coughs> that, that's about as far as I want to go. And the, the clear span has been very nice to us, and they, they give us a discount on the stuff with farm tech. And, mm -hmm. But that's as far as I'll go, and I, I just don't, I don't want to get commercial. And if I can not, I mean, it just gets so chitzy, you know? No, I agree. I mean, you, you'll get, you watch hockey games on TV now, and it used to be just white boards, and now it's like advertisements every strewn all around, yeah, you know? Every inch of space. <laughs> Everywhere, every you know? Yeah. But, yeah. I don't know. Yeah. It's that way with everything. I, I know, it's true. That's why I don't want to do it. You watch a baseball game, <laughs> there's a little Nike logo here, or a Nike logo there, or some other kind of logo somewhere. <laughs> I, when I was doing professional photography a long time ago, this was pre, was 86 World Series? Would you please speak up? <coughs> Sorry. <coughs> um, the Red Sox were playing the Mets in the World Series. Mm -hmm. And the magazine I was working for called me right before one of, the, one of the first games. And they said, two guys are doing an article. They're both from each, one from each team. They're going to do a diary on the World Series. And we need you to get a picture of the two of them together in front of the wall before the game. I mean, this is the World Series. I'm like, uh, okay, you know. So I went through holy, I'll cover this one, hell, <laughs> to get this shot set up. But I got them out there. <coughs> and I won't mention names, but um, one of the guys comes out. And I said, you know, he had his bat in his glove. And the other guy just had his glove because he was a pitcher. And I said, um, can you just put your bat up on your shoulder, you know? And now I got, it's right before the game. Everybody's like ready to get started. The place is full of people. I get 100 other camera people behind me all like crowding in. I'm going, this is my shot. Get the hell out of here, you know? <coughs> and he goes, oh, wait. And he crosses his hand over his shoulder like this with his bat up here. And I said, I said, that just doesn't look natural. Can you put it on the other shoulder? And he goes, no, I'm leaving it here. I said, can you please put it? And he says, no, he said, just take the picture. And I'm like, okay. So I took the picture. The reason he did it was because of the batting glove. He wanted the name. He was He's getting an endorsement from the batting glove. I was like, you bugger. Yeah. <laughs> but that's, we don't need it's that. so commercial that it's just, it yeah. just interferes with everything. Yeah. So it was kind of a long-winded explanation. It of certainly a was long-winded, but you're famous for that. <sighs> Thank you. <laughs> <coughs> turn the bat in such a way that Louisville Slugman or whatever would It was show. showing. It was showing. <laughs> oh, yeah. The batting glove and the bat yeah. were showing, and his glove, everything, all the names, all the labels on everything was showing out. I was like, hmm. <coughs> anyway. I'm going to, we should have some fun <coughs> about that. Can we put <coughs> stickers on the teeth or something? Uh, no, 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 no. <laughs> not happening. You could do fingernails. I could see that, but not teeth. Not the, no, no. well, okay. But we could sell dog teeth for Halloween. Mm -hmm. <laughs> we could do a lot of things. <coughs> well, so example. Uh, okay. We had the idea of. We had the idea of maybe making greeting cards out of the 2012 and 13. I was thinking that would be a good idea. I think that would be good. Yeah. But it, the whole thing's going to fall down to how much are they going to cost to print? Versus how much we can sell them for. Because if we go through this whole rigmarole and they're going to cost us $10 and we're going to sell them for 12 it's just not going to be, yeah, no, not going to work that way. So, But the thing is that you have to do volume to get the price back I down. I, I, I know that part. Well, you know. I know that part. Challenges, so. so in other words, we're going to have stacks of greeting cards around here. If, we, if they don't sell, we're going to have stacks of greeting cards. Well, we use them again next year. But right. they, they, yeah, they don't, they don't wear out like a calendar does. <laughs> no, I know. I know. You just don't put the year on it, that's all. <laughs> no. Well, I wasn't going to put anything in it. I was going to have the post-it note Blank. here. Yeah. You know, I think put it's a, a great idea. I really and do. put a little I blurb on the back about us. I or think there are other things we could do, too, to, but we'll, another time. Yeah. But I think it's uh, Any I think rate. a great idea. Sheila doesn't think that we're organized. <laughs> you don't understand the organization is my immediate, but... If we if, if we have all these really she was in Florida what does she know no oh she, uh, sorry Sheila <laughs> different Sheila oh sorry that Sheila other Sheila <laughs> I think Sheila O'Brien is probably Long Island maybe okay um, I, 
to have all these things. <sighs> Strict, do this, do that, do the other thing. It's just, it's yeah, you know. I know. And I think it changes her organization, the whole... um, oh, I, I dare not say that. But I think we have extremely bright people around here. I think you've got to leave them loose. Oh, don't thank you. Yeah, I, mean, <laughs> I, I just don't. Say thank you, bud. It's, it's pointless to try and give too many people too many directions if they've already thought it out themselves. So at any rate, I hung up the fire extinguishers that she said I had to have. No, I had the fire extinguishers. I had, a, I had to put a sign over each red fire extinguisher that <coughs> said, this thing is a fire extinguisher. <laughs> See, just like it says over there. <laughs> That's the kind of thing that just takes up too much time as far as I'm <coughs> concerned. But I apparently have to do it. You have to do I'm it. I'm gritting my teeth. All organizations have to do so these So we just things. get a couple hundred dollar worth of one dollar bills, just stuff that friggin' bear. <laughs> <laughs> Come here, bear. <coughs> it's going to be a rough month, I'll tell you. I'll have to go get the hundreds because I've got it. <laughs> All right, well, here's, here's a couple. Here's a five. Here we go. That's good for a couple days. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, right. We'll have that up in five minutes. <laughs> I already owe at least two or three, and you, you've gone through two, so that, that one's gone. That's a wash. <laughs> so if you're sending me back <coughs> all this stuff with our notes on it, I can't find it. It's awful. You know, a lot of it I've already done because just the way things move. You know, at a certain point, you're ready to do something, and... I did yeah. narrow down. It used to be, it used to be our board of directors was any ten drunks that wanted to go have dinner at the club, you know. And we got away from that, so I now have about ten people that are actually good business people, and are capable of producing, thinking and working and stuff like that. Um, it's not nearly as colorful as the other bunch. <coughs> <coughs> but Mark is good. <coughs> Mark's bright guy. Mark. Camera Mark? Yeah, I know, I know. He's a businessman himself. So. <laughs> yeah, yeah, oh, Mark is, yeah, he's a very good businessman. He, uh, he's you have to go to his... his <coughs> I do want to go over there someday. I'd love to see it. His warehouse is <coughs> like his mind. It's all... <laughs> all the boxes are just so... And they are, and it's not crowded. It's not crowded. It's good. You don't want to see my office then. <laughs> no, it's everything is absolutely immaculate and tidy and perfect, and it's unbelievable. I get the nervous most, when I get in there. The no. most amazing thing I think I've ever seen is when I I live the town I grew up in, and there was a guy in town who was like the historian, and he and his father owned a print shop, and <laughs> I had to go down there one day. They had a store in the front, like a little variety store, and in the back was a print shop. And I walked in there, and this was like, it was like wall-to-wall -wall shelves from the floor to the ceiling, and everything was stuffed with papers. I mean, it was unbelievable. And I walked in, and I said, I need to find some information. on. He goes, oh, wait a minute. It took him about 10 seconds. He went over, he pulled it out, and he said, here you go. I was like, oh, okay. <laughs> So my, yeah, you ever have Mark <coughs> find one of his pictures? Oh, yeah, I know. 43,000 <coughs> pictures he had on his whatever he gave me. And I said, I just need one. So and he said, what is it? And I told him. In five minutes, he had it. Yeah. Yeah. He said, well, Pretty that amazing. was taken on September 9th. And Holy <laughs> smoke, fella. He's got that kind of mind, you know, he organized does. mind for it. And he cooks, too. I'll tell you who else cooks. <laughs> This Ryan that we have. Really? He's a nice guy. Uh -huh. he's yeah, he's great. He's, he's, he's great. You approve of Ryan also, yeah. 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 Well, after what he did to the shed. No. That's unbelievable. That mm -hmm. <laughs> was amazing. And he, he's, he's he really just good. Goes he's at it nice and does guy. it quick. Yeah. He moves quickly. And yeah. 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 Plans ahead and strange things like that, you know? <laughs> Planning is, is a strange thing. Yeah. <laughs> well, he did things like, you know, go fix the yuppie puppy. <coughs> and he did. <laughs> Came back. This is what you want. Yeah, he's got it all figured out. He's a bright guy. I, I, I it's gonna be a sad day if he gets a, a job someplace. <laughs> I think he actually has a job. <coughs> I don't know. He, I don't know. I, I can't remember why he doesn't go to go to it. But anyway, 
<laughs> it's something about he works for this big company, like you know Monsanto or one of these great big outfits that has stores all over the place, and he was bought in to go manage this store in I don't know Medford or something like that. Neffa. Neffa, whatever, <laughs> and and they they somehow got it confused with Milford or. You know, and it was that that that's not going to work because he already lives in New Hampshire. You know, right, it, yeah. it got very complicated. So I don't understand, but he's working here and he's working fine, and I do love him dearly. Yeah, yeah, he's he's a good, he's a nice guy, and he does he works. He eats really anything hard. that's left over. Well, there you go. I mean, what more can you ask for? Yeah, <laughs> 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 he's the leftovers all the time, and he's he's right there. Oh my God! Doesn't worry about too much, and he cooks. That was what started this whole thing, mm-hmm. because when Megan was home sick. <laughs> He cooked dinner for 12 people. Wow. wow. Having worked here all day, went home, went, ab- went shopping, bought the stuff, went home, cooked dinner for 12 Good people. for him. That's week. great. You know? <coughs> so, anyway, that's... Did I finish all my stories? Any questions? Well... We never got we, to the questions. Well, we department. do have... I mean, we will take a few questions, but we have a few already. <coughs> um... There's a whole quite a, quite a few hold it up. <laughs> How many people does it take to open the mail? Thank you. <coughs> Someone posted the uh, the um, cop, copper clapper skit again. Oh really? <laughs> I have to watch it again. Um, oh, that's a good skit. Okay, so someone said, uh, it's only puppy love in New York, said the online Q&A with Charlie was recorded and you, you and Charlene will be able to watch it at a later time. I, I figured it was. Thanks, bud. Yeah, you're welcome. Uh, Sheila good. Person from ABA isn't doing her job if she doesn't no. know about Explorer or the Chicken Bricks. Uh, okay. Uh, <laughs> um, too much regulation from someone here. Um, someone says Charlie is very much about staying pure. And uh, for people watching, and he prefers word of mouth promotion. Um, okay, question. Good, go for it. What's the best tool to trim your dog's toenails? Clipper, Dremel tool, or what? Dremel. Where do you get the Dremel bit? Dremel. 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 Okay, yeah. All right. They they, <coughs> they they both work. Um, if you've got, you really do with a Dremel? Oh sure. Really? Oh, of course. It's almost it's it's nicer and things like that if you just get them all organized <laughs> in time. But if you've got sixty dogs to trim their toenails, you're not going to sit around <laughs> with a Dremel. Um, if you've only got one or two dogs to do, a Dremel works really well because it rounds the corners. <coughs> uh, if you use the clippers as I do, because I got to go faster. Copper clippers. The copper clippers. <laughs> um, it, it comes up with sharp edges, and if you don't take them up and run them down the street, you know you've really got some sharp. They can come at you with those claws, and it's like. Well, I was I was thinking we could just we could just install like a maybe fifty yard long emery board down in the yard there and just, and make just them drag run them. on it. Well, well you wouldn't drag them, but they could run on it. <laughs> you've got no. You you've got to have them hold their feet still and and move the emery board. Okay. So just stand them out there and pull it out from underneath. Yeah, but you know, like they do with tablecloths. <laughs> like they do with tablecloths. <laughs> <laughs> Did you see that Mythbusters with the <coughs> tablecloth? No. Did you see? What's that? Did you see the Mythbusters pull the tablecloth out from underneath, I don't know, 50 no. place settings? <laughs> they hooked it up. But someone wants you to speak up. <laughs> they, no, what did I do? I didn't I see it. They, they hooked it up to a motorcycle. And the object was to pull the tablecloth out and have the place settings all stay there. And they tried it, and they tried it, and they screwed it up and dumped it all over. And then they finally put saran wrap and pulled out the, you know, and it worked. Really? So that's, if you have to do that oh, sometime. That, that might be online. Maybe we can watch it after. <laughs> they were in an airplane hangar going 90 miles an hour with a motorcycle yanking this tablecloth around. <laughs> they do. I, I like the Mythbusters. That, that and the dirty jobs. Those I like those kind of jobs. <laughs> kind of, he's got a new. He's got a new, 
news news gig now on CNN. That Mike Rowe. Uh huh. Somebody's got to do it or something. Oh really? Yeah. They're not all necessarily dirty jobs. They're just very strange. Huh. Very strange. Interesting. The one I saw was him leaping around <laughs> trying to make friends with an egret or something. Someone wants to know what Mariah and Walter's date night will be. <laughs> Can't tell you. This is the waiting game. You start out with red, and you do the <coughs> toilet paper test or twice a day, and when it begins to get salmon colored instead of instead of red, then then she's beginning to get interesting to them, and she might think of standing still. But you got to ask the you got to ask the boy dog. And Walter's not does not have the experiences. Bentley has. Bentley. Well, Mariah was looking a little skittish down there tonight. I'll tell you. Yeah, but, well, she uh, would be. But the thing I really want to know is, um, will they produce orange puppies? I don't know. <laughs> well, that's another outfit. Somebody, somebody online is already on to me about. Oh, you shouldn't use Walter. He's a piebald. You shouldn't use him with a harlequin. You're going to do this, that, and the other thing. You know, we could have problems. Yeah. But we might not. And the last yeah. breeding of his sister, we have eight really good puppies yeah. and three pets. Well, I, was, I was referring to his Halloween dye. I know you were. <laughs> I know you were. Okay. <coughs> um, all right, let's see. Uh, da, da, da. Have you, uh, oh, that's for, the, that's for the CPs. They're asking already if they're reserving their rooms for dog tests next year. All right, people, good. Nice. <coughs> um, will the calendars eventually be sold online? If I can figure out how to do it, yeah. I think, yeah. yeah I think what's happened cheap. already is somebody went online and bought two calendars, which apparently out there it still says 214, but we'll figure that out. So, Thank you, Mimi. Mythbusters tablecloth. Oh, really? Yeah, so we'll watch that after thing. <laughs> the coughing and sneeze Mythbusters wasn't bad either, you know. Um, all right, someone says, uh, use a treadmill with an emery board. Who is, is it? Teach, yeah. Teach, teach it's in the street. I mean, you know. Use a treadmill with an emery board material and let the dog wear their nails off. New invention for you. Yeah, there you go. That's a good idea. I like that. It is, but the pads get in the way. Well, that's the thing, yeah. That's, yeah. that's for the, the Dremel tool. You can round the things off a bit. Yeah. Someone said they want an orange and black pup. <laughs> <laughs> Jerry Joe from Ohio. Well, okay, the rest of that story is she's having trouble getting dye off the dog. Yes, I know. <laughs> so she really scrubbed scrubbed it. Wow. Now, he gets in the bathtub at her house very nicely, but he's so big he can't turn around. So she could really only scrub one side. So she really scrubbed that side, and she scrubbed it so hard that he's now got bumps all over that particular side that she scrubbed. Poor Walter. Poor Walter. <laughs> And the other, so the other side is fine because she just didn't wash that all that much. <laughs> so Walter's got his problem. What kind of dye? What kind of dye is that? I don't know what they use. I think they said it was a special dye for dogs that I guess that... Uh, so know, somebody put a label on some dye hand. and said it was special for dogs and, I, and know, Megan I went and bought it. <laughs> so I remember when at Easter, I mean, this was a oh, long uh -huh. time ago. Um, Chicken. No, but the, the, the in the the Greek church, all the all the old ladies used to used to dye the red eggs because all the Greek oh. eggs are red, and they used to something flying around in here. They used to dye them all with writ dye, oh. Oh. which is toxic. Is it really? Fabric dye, writ is fabric dye. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah. after a number of years, they finally wised up and stopped doing that. But which is good. Food coloring, that's what they need, food coloring. Yeah, exactly. Or paint. <laughs> <laughs> I actually, oh, I used to, I don't know why we're getting on to Easter now, but 
<coughs> um, I used to cheat. Do I what? Had, I used to cheat. Cheat? I had I had a red marble egg, <laughs> <laughs> and I had a a wooden egg that I sanded down and painted red. I see. Yes. So, because we used to cr- you'd crack eggs, and in whoever's egg didn't get cracked, you would go on to the next one, the next one, and then you know. And oh, I see. So okay, so you were all set. I was. Yeah, I'm I was doing good. fine. <laughs> Okay. <coughs> Anyhow, um, um, we love Walter no matter what color he is. <laughs> I would love to see a video of Walter in the bath. Um, yeah, we'll get Megan to take care of that. Yeah, we asked Megan. I'd like to see a picture of Walter in the bath. I hope they buy. A, best I, wait a minute. Hey, <coughs> whoa. Yes, ma'am. I hope they buy a calendar. Who? The person that hopes they see Walter in the bath. Oh, 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 yes, that's right. Because one of the <laughs> calendar shots is of Walter in the bath. That's right, I remember you saying that. I haven't seen it, but I remember you tell, talking about it. Um, <laughs> someone said Kool-Aid, the best dye ever, and it's cheap. <laughs> and I know that's true because I know a lot of the kids that, that color their hair, they use Kool-Aid to color their hair with because it washes out after a while. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, and then if, you, you, you know, if you're in the rain, you could just squeeze it down and have a drink. That's there right. you go. Um, <laughs> Someone wants to call the uh, the litter the creamsicles. Oh, <laughs> we're starting that already. Someone said the cheese puffs. <coughs> oh boy. I just hope she has them. <laughs> you know. I know. I know. Uh, well, we'll see what happens. Very nerve wracking because she's first, <coughs> but he's not tremendously talented. <laughs> <laughs> Poor Walter. Poor Walter. Any other questions? I don't know. I don't know. No more questions on the the comments? Mm. Someone said the Kool-Aid is a sticky yuck. That is true. It's a sugar. It's a sugar involved. Ooh, Walter in a bath and a new calendar. Cannot wait. (laughs) (laughs) There's some good shots on this. This calendar is good. (laughs) Yeah, there are, there, there are know, a couple that are classics. We said that uh, we were going to have trouble making it better than the 14th. The 14th was a good calendar, too. There's some good shots in there, but, boy, there's there's some good ones in this one, too. Well, I know the ones I saw, I, the one in particular. Which one did you like? You can talk the, about it because it's coming out. The Christmas one. Well, the Christmas for one. For next year. That's pretty funny. <laughs> I think it's hilarious. I the one it. I thought would never make it, I thought it was ridiculous, and why are we doing this? Is the picture of Bailey in the rain with the puppy beneath her? That's a nice shot. Have seen you seen it? I didn't see that one yet. I will show it to you. Right. I don't remember it. Um, will a ve- uh, calendars be available via doggy bags soon? I think they probably are now. I mean, you just go ahead and buy them. And it, it says two fourteen, but we'll be able to figure that out pretty carefully. Someone wants to know, is there another option besides Walter? Not really. Not really. Everything else is a little bit too closely related to her. Okay. I have, you know, yeah. I don't know, bringing Bumpy. I don't know. Yeah. Um, someone wants to know what's for dinner. <laughs> <laughs> With leftovers. I brought a couple sandwiches just in case. <laughs> Done. Um, that's all. I had to step through someone to speed read my comments. So, um, looking, where was it? What? I'll have to. I'll have to go back and find it. <coughs> anyway. calendar be sold at a discount for the pictures I'm not sure what that means but what's that sorry will will it be sold at a discount for the pictures I'm not sure what they're referring to I don't know what you're talking about (laughs) (laughs) I don't know what what the implication is (laughs) discount for the 
Oh, Tina posted the calendar info. Who? Tina. SoCal. What'd she post? The uh, calendar information. information. The calendar information. For ordering. And how would you say to do it? Um, you'll have to look at it. It's right, it should be the one right at the top. 23rd calendar, July 15th, Monday, Thursday. <laughs> By the way, Tina, I'm sorry, I haven't responded on online, but I'm very sorry to hear about your, your dog. That was very sad for you. I'm sorry. Yeah. Tough thing to go through. Does that look accurate? Does that look accurate? This is accurate, yes. Okay. It's Carlene approved. <laughs> oh, I see. They were selling it. Oh, you're selling it at 214. No, we're not. Okay. Oh, someone said Lulu was on camera with Charlie this afternoon. Oh, really? In the interview, I guess. We'll have to watch it. Um, Bumpy hit a home run with the last litter. <laughs> and Bumpy is her grandfather. That's a good point. Yeah, I know. <laughs> but I think he's more than her grandfather. Oh, here's what Tina, uh, Tina wanted to know. Will this year's calendar leftovers be sold for less just for the photos? If people want it just for the pictures. Oh. That's what she was referring we to. Have a, we have a few. Yeah, we can do yeah. that. Yeah. Send dark chocolate and I will send it to you. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. <laughs> yeah. Give what you wish for. <laughs> <laughs> oh, dear me. You better wish we never said that. <laughs> Around here someplace, I figured out. Oh, dear. Someplace that Mariah was related to it. I put it on a, it's on a yellow card someplace here. Her love life. <laughs> she hasn't had a love life yet. Well, I know, but where would she get it? It's on a yellow. It's a yellow index. Here it is. Gonna, you put the swear bear on this. <laughs> well, excuse me. Oh, there we go. <laughs> he was protecting it, damn okay. it. <laughs> Mariah's parents are Noel and Bentley. Right. And going through Noel, we have, she is out of Luna by Thumper. And Luna is Tracy and Deagle. Deagle is the an old timer goes way back. That's classic bloodline there. Okay, so Noel is a classic, classic you thing. Here we go. Now the top one. Bentley is Olive and Bumpy. And Bumpy is Thumper Thumper. Bumpy is when Thumper bred his daughter because he jumped the fence. Oh oh oh. Okay. So, so Bumpy is Thumper Thumper. Should so have you know put we, in we jail have, for that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so if we bred to Bumpy, we'd end up see we'd end up with this whole line up in here. Right, right. It's it's an awful lot of Thumper. Thumper was a nice dog, but um, yeah, it would be better than having no puppies probably. But I. I you know, Walter should produce a healthier. I would. I don't know. Who knows? I just. I just have a trouble breeding related dogs. I th think it's a wise decision. But um, we'll see. We'll see. And but I don't. None of the AKC team will <laughs> let me use their studs probably anyway. So. <coughs> That's how I got the. We meat could offer them a calendar. <laughs> Actually, there are there are some that that that, that don't want to shoot me. <laughs> there are a bunch that do, mind you. But there's there's some, there's some nice people in the AKC. Yeah, I'm sure. But it's just like like I said this morning. You, you missed my daily doggy or whatever. But I would, I'm sorry. It, there's religion and politics and dogs. <laughs> you know. In that order. In about that order. Well, I don't know. You, I don't know. But you just can't get argue with dogs with people because particularly dog food. I mean, 
Dog food itself is a religion. You know? Oh, I it's only true. feed my dog raw chicken that you look. Any rate. <laughs> People believe the craziest things sometimes, I think, but but that's why I'm one of them. Well, everyone has their preferences, but you know. <coughs> you gotta what remember that dog. though. Religion, what a great politics dog. dog. Supper was a great dog. Yeah.